most dominant figure uh, sport today, LeBron James, Michael Phelps, please get a week south of us here. We, know, we all know it's Serena Williams. Hello everyone, my name is Nina Ashenin and today I'll uh, presenting you Serena Williams with the award of the most dominant female athlete. Yeah, I'm qualified to present uh, her with this award because I've done research on her and I've uh, been following her career uh, over the past 10 years. The main points I'm going to go through today uh, and talk about uh, with you uh, is Serena's biography, uh, professional career, and the most dominant female athlete award. Serena Williams is an American professional tennis player who was born in, Ch uh, in Chicago, in Michigan. She's the youngest of five sisters, and she started playing tennis as her, uh, in age of uh, three. She also has an older sister who started playing with her. Uh, they were always been like competing with each other, but Serena was always uh, standing out. Uh, they moved, uh, her whole family moved to California so uh, when they were young, so they could start playing tennis. And when they were nine, when Serena was nine, they moved uh, to Florida. Serena was 46 wins and three uh, losses on Junior United States Tennis Association Tour and ranked first in 10 and under division. Uh, In uh, 1995, Serena turned pro. Two years later, uh, she was already number 99 in the world ranking. Um, a year later, she graduated from high school uh, and almost immediately inked a 20 million shoe deal with Puma. In 99, she beat uh, out her sister in the race of the family for the first uh, Grand Slam uh, title, uh, when she uh, when she won the U.S. Open and uh, completed the career Grand Slams in 2003, so in four years she completed the whole the whole Grand Slam. Along with her individual success, William's sister have competed in doubles. They won all Grand Slam titles and a couple of. Uh, With her, uh, she won uh, Australian Open four times, French Open twice, Wimbledon five times, US Open twice, and uh, Olympic Games three times. She her uh, win percentage was is eighty five point four, and she has uh, seven hundred two wins and hundred twenty losses. She she has sixty six uh, WTA titles. Uh, besides tennis, uh, she she's being uh, Serena expanding her brand into film, television, and fashion. Furthermore, seek to provide additional opportunities for her and her sister. Uh, uh, Form uh, the Serena William Foundation and build schools in Africa. She she was. <laughs> Williams uh, is known for her unique uh, and unusual colorful outfits on the court. As you can see, she was she would wear like long socks and crazy dresses, which is unusual for tennis. Um, out of court, she is always. As she once said, life has nothing to do with it because I have spent many, many hours, countless hours on the court working for my uh, one moment in time, not knowing what, when it would come. So, ugly dominance isn't just about winning and losing, it's about greatness. How badly you, you want to beat someone, how many points you score, and how much better you are than the average opponent. This is all you should have in order to win awards for the most dominant athlete. Here are some of the best athletes who won this award according to TSME. Mia Hammond, soccer player, 
Chris Evert, tennis, Benny Blair, uh, speed skater, Lindsay Vaughn, skiing, and Serena Williams. She won this award according to TMS and me. Serena deserves award for the most uh, dominant athlete because no one else does. <laughs>